what kind of challenges do you think this matchup presents? Obviously, you're really familiar with this team, familiar with the opponent, familiar with the players. Um, what's going to kind of be the key for you guys to have success? Uh, I mean, everybody knows that, uh, you know, the talent that they have. And, that, you know, it's not a traditional 7 seed team. Uh, you know, they had some ups and downs this year, but, uh, you know, for the most part, got their full team and, uh, you know, they're really good. Well coached. They got some great players, obviously. Uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It should be very exciting. Um, you know, so we, we're ready for it. Is it harder to uh, kind of look at them when their, their season was so in and out with Kyrie missing games and KD being hurt and, like, you know, they made trades? Like, is it harder to get a gauge of who they are? Do you feel like you have a sense of it after watching them more recently? Uh, no, I think you got a better idea, you know. When Sunday comes, we're not going to be worried about, you know, how many games they missed. Uh, you know, you just got to play the team that they got, you know. Those guys are back now, um, and they've been playing together for a while. So, uh, you know, that's the team that we're expected to play. And just, just early on in your career, how did Kyrie help you here, just kind of even on the court and off, adjusting to the rhythm? Um, you know, NBA life, like what were the ways you kind of leaned on him early in your career? Yeah, uh, he helped me out a lot, you know, those first two years. Uh, just kind of watching, uh, you know, a superstar. Um, I got to see him every day, you know, see how he worked, worked on his body and prepared for games and things like that. And, uh, you know, learn what to do, learn some things what not to do. And, you know, he'll be the first to tell me that, uh, you know, I could just, you know, learn from the uh, encounters that we had. Uh, and obviously we've talked and, and some things that he probably, you know, he told me he wish he could do, would have done differently. But I think that's just part of life. Uh, you know, nobody's perfect. And you just got to move on from it uh, as you get older. Um, Jason, you, you say he's told you some things he wishes he had done differently. Can you share any of that? Uh, no, I don't really want to get into all of that. Okay. Uh, KD is somebody you pointed to from the time you were very young. You've got to know him. He's encouraged you over the years. Getting to go on the floor against him in a series like this, just what does that mean to you? Uh, you know, I guess not trying to make it a, you know, one-on-one -on -one thing. Obviously, everybody know who um, who Kevin is and, you know, the things he's accomplished and what he brings to this game. Um, but, you know, it's a team sport. And, uh, you know, obviously he's, you know, the focal point of their team. And, you know, we got to compete and game plan and things like that to, you know, make it tough for him. Um, you know, it's a tough task, but, uh, you know, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. You know, I think playoffs, um, it's that time of the season. Um, you know, myself, the rest of the guys, just excited. You know, I had a really good season and, you know, just trying to carry that momentum into postseason. Uh, KD is one of the most scheme-proof guys out there. He can pretty much do anything no matter what you throw at him. So. Going up against him in the playoffs last year, playing with him on Team USA, what did you learn about how you want to become that guy, especially when you look at like how they won the game last night where they were just doubling him and he just knew how to pass out of it, and that's something that you've gotten really good at? I think, um, you know, him obviously been doing it for a long time. Uh, just the way he reads the game. It's always just about making the right play. Uh, you know, obviously he's capable and tall enough that, you know, he could shoot every time and shoot over the double teams. But, uh, you know, from playing against him in the playoffs and, you know, with Team USA, just uh, he's just always willing to make the right play. And, you know, somebody with that skill level and, you know, and his height, uh, you know, presents a challenge. Uh, and I think, you know, we all know that. The last year's series, you guys were really banged up going against them. You had to really put the team on your back. How different does it feel coming into the series this year where the team is much more deeper and built around you and you guys know how to play through you and through JB a lot better? 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you just said it. Last year we was banged up and JB was out and Kemba half the season, I mean, half the series. Um, you know, all those guys was healthy over there. And it was just, uh, it was just different. And I think now this year we've had a better season. We got everybody but Rob. Um, and, you know, just much more full strength than, than last year. So, uh, you know, I guess we feel a lot better about ourselves than we did last playoffs. Jason, you said obviously it's a team game, but you're the central figure, the head of the snake here. How much of a challenge do you look forward to this playing against two top players who are Hall of Famers and you trying to prove that you're the best team and then you're the best dude on the best team? I mean, that it seems like you've been motivated by these challenges this year that you're the, you know, a, you know you've got much respect for those guys, but you want to prove you're the best dude on the floor. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think uh, think more so excited, you know, for the opportunity and, uh, you know, the opportunity in front of us and, you know, what I feel like we're capable of doing. I'm not necessarily going into it, you know, trying to prove anything. Um, you know, obviously, I know who they have on their team and who we got. Um, and I know how competitive it's going to be and how much fun it's, it's, it's going to be. Uh, and, you know, honestly, just the mindset of just trying to go win one game at a time uh, and play the right way and compete as hard as I can. And uh, I'm sure the rest will take care of itself. I don't know if we've talked to you since Robert got hurt, but uh, what's the process of been, been like of playing without him? Uh, I mean, we definitely miss him. Uh, he's so so important to our team on both ends of the floor. Um, so everybody's just trying to adjust um, and pick up the slack, um, you know, when he's not out there. Jason, how do, you, how do you view the possibility that Ben Simmons could return in this series when, you know, he, he hasn't been out there with this team or at all this year? How do you kind of prepare for a guy like that if he does play? Uh, I mean, honestly, you know, if that happens, we cross that bridge when we get there. Um, but, you know, right now we're just focusing on the guys that they got available, uh, you know, at this moment. Uh, Jay, so the last couple of times you beat them at full strength, you, you've put up 50 plus points. I guess uh, how much are you kind of conscious that not necessarily score 50, but you do got to go get buckets uh, during this playoff series? Um. <laughs> I mean, I'm aware of, you know, obviously the last time we played them. Um, and it's not no, it's not something I like, you know, go out and, you know, I'm going to score 50 today. It's just the flow of the game. Obviously, you know, it's transition buckets, um, get a lot of free throws, you know, some rhythm threes. And obviously when you get it going, um, the game just opens up and, you know, you get in that mode. Um, you know, where you, you know, hit some big, big shots, some tough ones. Uh, you know, I've, I've been in that zone a couple of, a handful of times. Uh, you know, so when it happens, it happens, but it's not something I, you know, plan for. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.